Typically in southpaw versus orthodox matchups, since your lead hand is in front of one another, then you would always want to have it over the top of your opponents, so it's easier for you to control their jab and throw back one of your own. Very high boxing IQ from Salt Pappy, always trying to control the lead hand. This constant taunting is also a strategy to get Josh to lunge in recklessly. And once Josh does lunge in, Salt Pappy always catches him with a clean right hook counter. Similar to the type of right hook counter Manny utilizes, he would go over their lead hand and catch them on top. Salt Pappy is also very defensively sound. The moment he commits to a punch, he's ready to step back away, making it hard for Josh to come back with something of his own. And when Josh decides to come forward, Salt Pappy will simply step back away from danger. Now the biggest factor in this fight was how good Salt Pappy was in baiting in Josh to his attack range. Despite Josh being the taller man, he was the one going forward and when he does, Salt Pappy always catches him. In this case, he got him again with the right hook counter. His pull counter was also extremely good and he would always catch Josh walking straight into this. A big mistake Josh would make is that he would always make the same move when he feints. He would throw a jab, straight, then a jab again. Notice the range at where he was throwing these punches. They are thrown so far off and Salt Pappy knows Josh is throwing this just as a means to trick him and there's no real power behind the punches. Josh will commit to the exact same combo once again but this time Salt Pappy knows what's coming. Josh throws the jab then the straight. Salt Pappy knows Josh won't commit to the next punch so he throws a straight of his own and catches Josh clean in the jaw between his combo, putting Josh down once and for all. An incredible display of skill from Salt Pappy and I would love to see him go up against KSI or Jake Paul one day.